To describe it, you might say Freud's last session is a little play about a couple of famous historical figures sitting around talking one day in 1939. Sounds awfully dry, but as written, staged, and performed, it's really quite a gem. Why is it that religion makes room for science, but science refuses to make room for religion? Playwright Mark St. Germain took his inspiration for this play from a book describing a meeting between Sigmund Freud, the famed father of psychoanalysis, and an unnamed Oxford professor, possibly the author C.S. Lewis, who went on to write the Narnia books. The two men, both brilliant, were on opposite poles when it came to the question of God. Freud was an irascible atheist on his last legs at this point, 83 years old and suffering from mouth cancer. Lewis was just 41, formerly an atheist himself, but now happily converted to theism. His belief in God and Freud's rejection of faith in favor of science and reason is the basis of their conversation this one day in early September. It probably still seems all too academic at this point, but the, that is the beauty of great theater like this. If produced correctly, you really don't need much more than honest characters and meaningful ideas. And this production has all that and more. The setting, designed in impeccable detail, is Freud's London study on the eve of World War II. He invites Lewis to visit, and it's not long before the two engage in a philosophical joust, thrusting and parrying on topics related to religion, war, sex, and morality, among much else. Under Tyler Marchant's solid direction, the exchange is intellectually thrilling, with both humor and insight in abundance. The characterizations, Martin Rayner playing the elderly Freud and Mark H. Dold as Lewis are fascinating. Every line feels absolutely organic and the performance is liberally peppered with the kind of nuance that breathes life to history. No sex before marriage is not only naive, it's mindless cruelty. Uh, like sending a young man off to perform his first concerto with an orchestra when he's only ever played his piccolo alone in his room. <laughs> On the surface, one could argue Freud's last session is simply a lot of talk. Nothing really happens. But it's the kind of talk that transforms scholarly debate into enlightenment. Roma Torrey, New York One.